What's up everyone, Still Zork here with another episode of Pokemon Ruby Walkthrough. Now, you've all probably seen this before. I mean... Where have you seen this? Well, if you saw... Um, my part 26 video, I think it is. Yeah, this is the exact same thing, except... That video was crap. And I lost, and the sound was awful, so I was not pleased with that episode, plus somehow my game reset, so I had to start all the way over and get back to the spot as fast as I can. But since I was all behind and stuff, I figured why not just start that video over and record, erase the one I already had on YouTube and start it again. Well, this is how it started. I got the good rod from this guy right here, so we can go and catch our fifth team member, which will be our water Pokemon. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to fa zoom to the place we're going to catch my new Pokemon, so we'll be right back. Alrighty, welcome back to Fall Arbor Town. Now, what we're doing here is we're catching our new Pokemon. Now we need the good rod to catch this Pokemon and you can find it right here. So we're gonna quit the good rod and we're gonna start fishing so hopefully we can find it our first try or so. And a bite and it got away. Yeah with the good rod it's served from the old rod because you have to hit A a few times. It's kind of like a little mini game or something. So we're going to try. And I, uh, I got away somehow. I thought I hit A. Alright, my game's a little laggy right now, but we'll try our best. And there's one. There's a second one, third one. And I got it on the hook. Let's see if this is it. And... Golding! Nope, this is not our Pokemon we're trying to catch. So I'm just going to... Pause this and come back when I find him. So we'll be right back. Ah, that's more like it. This is the Pokemon we're going to be catching. A Barbroach. And it's actually a very high level. Higher than I was expecting. Because the one I caught in the other video I did was level 12. This is 10 levels higher, which is awesome. So that means he doesn't need that much training to get up to speed with my team. As long as I don't crit it. And he uses Magikarm, that's very bad for Combuskin. That's why he's awesome, he's a water and a ground type. And I think it's time to catch him. And let's let's try Pokeball. I want to try and catch all my team members in Pokeballs, even though I can't remember if Dino was caught with a Pokeball Great Ball. But Barboach was. And this is our fifth team member. And if you saw the other video, you already know what I'm going to nickname him. I like this nickname. It's a good for him. Yep. Whiskers. Oops, one S. And he was sent to the PC, so now we're going to have to go get him. And put him in our party. And since we still have the egg, we're just going to take our slave out. So we'll be get him, and we'll go back to where we need to go. Welcome back to Pellberg City. Now, the reason we're here is what we're going to be doing in this video is, now that we have Surf, we're actually going to start, we're going to go back and get all the items we couldn't get because we didn't have Surf. So that's what we're going to do. That's what this video is going to be. Now, I know in the other video, we went straight into the desert to raise up Barbara Whiskers. But that video caused me rage, and we're actually just going to do that next time because hopefully it won't cause me as much rage. Or actually, maybe it will, just for some humor, give me some more rage. But as you saw, we just got an Ether, and I think that was a Max Ether on the other, or Max Revive or something. I forget. But yeah, we're just going to get a few extra items, and we're going to, that's it for Pelberg City right now. Now if we go uh, over here, we can finally surf here 104, but we're we'll cover that in another video. That'll probably be after the desert before we head on to the next town. But we're going to the next area, so we'll fast forward. 
Okay, guys, something happened with while um, I was trying to fast forward to the next city. The egg hatched. Yeah, we got ourselves a why not. Level 5. And why not the baby form of Wobbuffet? And we're not going to be using him. Yeah, he's horrible. He's, Wobbuffet's only good for like, good competitive battles or something. But yeah, I thought you guys might want to know that. So we'll be right back now. Alright, we're back here at Route 104, and there's a few areas we can go to. I think. Let's see. I know there's an item up here. Right there. And yeah, it's a PP up, and I think that's it. But, I'm not going to fast forward this time, because if you go north of Rustboro City, then there's another item. So, we're going to do that. And I don't know why I'm not on my bike. In fact, I need to switch that back to there. That's better. And we zoom by, zoom, 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 and sur we can surf up here now. Now we've already been up to this part. Um, this was outside Meteor Falls. We battled, battled these trainers, but. Now that we have surf, we can surf even farther up. If we go up here, there's another area we can go to. Now, up here in this area, there's a secret bases. But also, a new Pokemon we can catch is Jigglypuff. And there's a few trainers we can fight, so we'll test out Barboach here now. You, my Machop, demand a battle! Okay, dude. You need to learn to complete your sentences, because you made no sense whatsoever. But, Black Belt Kochi has a Machop level 26, ooh. Um, I think we'll just send him Baconator, because Whisker's a little, little low. But I know Baconator could take him out. Foresight, you're going to identify me, which will do pre pretty much nothing, haha. -ha. But we'll Psybeam you. And that takes Machop out. And... What else do you got? You got another Machop? Oh, you got a Machoke. Ooh, the evolved form of Machop. So scary. Machop evolves into Machoke at level 25, so that's about right. He didn't hack this Machoke in. But I did not take it out in one hit. But his Cryochop does nothing to me. Ha ha ha. And Baconator destroys it with no problem. And that got him some pretty decent experience. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Yeah, this guy doesn't know how to talk, really. And we'll go up there in a second, but first we'll battle this person. Hmm, you seem rather capable. Let me keep you company. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pedophile alert. This expert Timothy. Yeah, he's... He wants to keep us company with his Hariyama. Yeah, I don't I don't really trust fighting types with Barboach right now. Maybe later on when he gets higher level, but I prefer uh Baconator to get up a few levels too, to caught up get him caught up with everyone else too. Alright, that vital throw did a lot, but hopefully Baconator can like get a crit. And it did crap. And that's probably going to take, that valve throw is going to take me out. Um, fun fact about Hariyama, I'm pretty sure he's, he can learn surf, which is pretty funny, surfing on that guy. But we'll try to magnitude. Ma oh my goodness. Magnitude 10. Did crap. And that takes me out. Crap. Um, I'm running out of options. I don't want to send in Dino or Acorn because they're super weak to him. I guess it's Blaze to save the day again. We'll use a Peck. Uh, and you're going to Vital Throw me. Go ahead. That's one more Peck should do it. Okay, that battle didn't go out exactly how I planned. 
I was expecting Baconator or Whiskers to take him out, no problem. But I was wrong, so we're just going to have to go up here. And in that grass, that's where you can catch Jigglypuffs, like the only spot you can, but we're going to pick these berries real quick. Alrighty, and yeah, I'm not going to catch Jigglypuff. I have no need for a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuffs are awful. But we will get this item up here, which is TM01, and I think that's Focus Punch. Focus Punch is an interesting move. It takes two turns um, to use it. No, it doesn't. It takes one turn. It goes first, and you charge your fo tie in your focus, but if you get hit, if you take damage, you lose focus, and you can't hit. So it's really risky. It's mostly for if you're facing someone who's setting up for something. But that's about it. So, um, trying to think of anywhere else we can. Yeah, there's a few more places we can surf. So, oh, that's right. We, there's places north of Slateport. So that's where we'll go next is Slateport City. So I'm going to magically go into this Pokemon Center. And when we come out, we'll be direct. We'll be in Slayport City. Okay, we won't be in Slayport. We'll be in Mobile City. I was off by a little bit, but there was something I forgot to show you guys when we first got the uh, bike. Um, once you get the bike, you can do this right when you get it. Um, go in here, and it's a cycling road. Now this is where you fight. You can fight some extra trainers in here. But not many people know about this in the beginning, but if you go through here, there's a secret trainer over here we can find. Ah ha ha, it dealt with my wonders. Yeah, not many people know this trainer's here, because you just go straight on the cycling road. But she's here, and she has an Abra. And we'll take it out with a Surf. And yeah, these levels are going to be super low because you can come here before the first gym. I mean, the third gym. So, I probably won't. I won't fire these trainers. I know they're mostly just going to have like Magnemites and Voltorbs, maybe the duos. So, I really don't want to fight all those Magnemites. Well, I could. I'll just take them out with like a Magnitude or something. But, I thought I'd just show you guys. You can go through here. Well, what we're going to do next is go here, and if you have the good rod, you can catch Whalemers in here, which is pretty awesome. I love using Whalemer and Whalord. They're like, they're my favorite water Pokemon for this gen. And we'll spray our Super Repels. And there's a secret base there. There's a area we'll go back to later. And I thought there was an item around here. And I guess not. Oh well, I tried. But alrighty, and I think that's it for that's all we're gonna do for this episode. No, you know what? I know where there's an item. We'll get that item, and then that'll be the end of this episode. And then yeah. So let's play another repel because I really don't want to fight wild Pokemon. And yes, there's the item. I knew there was an item around here somewhere. And the water's deeper blue, yada yada yada. And let's surf. And it's a rare candy. Rare candies are always nice. And that's going to do it for this episode. So stay tuned next time. We're probably going to check out the desert next the desert or maybe we can do some more trick houses you guys remember this guy yeah <laughs> um actually no i'll save the trick master to train up my last pokemon which won't be for a while and he'll be really underleveled so thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time